What's up guys? We're gonna cover the bench assisted neck bridge. All right, so what we're doing, we're gonna do both anterior and posterior side. So to get started on the anterior, you get set up, quadruped position, forehead right on the bench. Get yourself in a nice, good braced position, good tension on the front of your neck. Lift your knees off the ground, then lift your hands. Hold about two seconds and then go right back up. That's a very challenging movement, so start with about two seconds and then lengthen out that time. Now for the posterior side, you're gonna be able to hold for much longer. The way that works, right here, put the back of your head on the bench, lift your hips up, hold, about a five second count, come back down, and then come right back up. Now again, as you gain strength, start to increase that time this is gonna be a great movement to help with your neck stability and neck strength. All right, we're doing the ISO neck hold with a plate lateral raise. Similar to what we did on that bench supported neck bridge, we're gonna get set up. We've got the bench on a bit of an incline. Take your forehead, put it right on edge of the bench. Make sure you've got good tension on the neck. Let all your weight come down through there. Grab your plates, lateral raise right there holding nice and steady, and we wanna go about 10 reps, nice, slow, and smooth on that lateral raise. We're trying to really challenge the stability and the strength on that anterior portion of the neck while getting a little bit of scap movement on the posterior side. All right, guys, we're doing the band-resisted four-way neck. This is a big one because we're gonna get all planes of motion in that neck. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with an ISO hold, once you gain strength, then you start putting some movement on it. I'm gonna show both, all right? Now you're gonna get front, right, back, and left side of your head. When you get the movement, do about 10 reps for two sets. If you're doing just an isometric hold, think maybe two sets, 30 seconds each side. And again, you wanna move from that isometric hold into being able to have movement under control. So this is the way it's gonna look. Core's braced, you're nice and tall. Start out on a nice so hold. All right, notice I'm not leaning to one side. I'm bracing right here. Once you get that down, a little movement. Straight to the side. All right, now you can just rotate straight back. Again, start out on a nice so hold and then start putting movement into it. Do it like that for the back and both sides and then for the front of the neck. Right here, hold a steady, core is braced. Your STM right here, nice and tight. Again, about 30 seconds ISO hold. Once you gain strength, begin putting movement on it. All right, we're gonna do the four-way ball-resisted neck. Similar to our band-resisted neck, we're getting it front, right, back, and left. We're gonna go reps. Again, we're looking about 10 reps, about two sets. The difference between this and the band-resisted one is we are really leaning into it to really use our body weight. This is gonna give us a nice big range of motion. So to start, put your forehead right on the ball, lean into it, lean forward, lengthen out that neck, and squeeze that chin down really fire in the front of the neck. Everything we're doing, slow and smooth. So you're gonna do that, then come to the side. Again, we're leaning into it. Let your head come down, squeeze down, Nice, slow, smooth, and under control. Right there. Then to come to the back, you are leaning into it, tuck your chin, and then drive your forehead back into that ball, squeezing that upper neck. Right like that. Again, everything is slow, smooth, and under control. Just to finish it out, fourth side, lean, squeeze. Right there. All right, now this is gonna get you a nice big range of motion. It's gonna hit all four areas of the neck, and it's a good drill that you can do with your team every single day.